Earlier this month, we reported how the ESD number two fire department was in need of upgraded equipment due to an increase in water rescues. This week proved to be another example of why. 3 News reporter Ashley Gonzalez shows us how a father and son are back on dry land after getting stranded in the Pack Creek Channel. Just one of three rescue calls the department received in a 24 hour period. Take a look at this video. This is the sea tow boat in action against waves higher than six feet. The sea tow crew said that with red flag weather, small boats should stay clear of the water. Catching air going out of the uh, pack free in our big, big catamaran. And uh, so the, the inlet right there was, it was pretty nasty today. Here's a timeline of today's rescue events. This morning at 1151, the Nueces County ESD number two got the call of a father and son struggling to maneuver their boat due to lack of operational experience in rough waters. The boat was one mile east of the Packery jetties. At 1210 is when the sea tow made their way to navigate the boat in distress. At 1233, sea tow made contact with the individuals and brought them to safety. And 1241 is when the father and son were confirmed safe when they were brought to the Packery jetties. I grabbed a hold of the child and we maneuvered the boats close together and I passed the child off onto our vessel um, just to keep him as safe as possible. Just yesterday, we told you about the kayakers that needed to be rescued from the water also. Seto and Fire Chief Dale Scott gave three news some tips to follow before heading out to the water. Take a boater safety course. That's the first thing to do. Check the weather. Make sure you don't go out in high winds. Make sure you have a charged cell phone and you have it in a watertight case so that you can make contact in case you do get into trouble. That was Ashley Gonzalez reporting. Severe weather affects a